Hey, hey, save my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha and in today's video, we are going to be doing a cash stuffing for my vacation, which I am so, 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 so excited. If you guys have been on my channel, then you know that I have been saving all of my change to go towards my trip for Disney. And we leave in just a couple of days, so it is time to turn these coins into dollars. So guys, uh, like I said, I have been doing this all year long. We are not quite at the top, but it is okay. We made some great progress. So this is where the um, change has stopped. And then this is the top. So, you know, we we did pretty good. We did pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try and tilt it a little bit. Um, so I am excited, guys. I'm going to take you on this journey to see exactly how much is in here. Um, and then I'm going to do a cash stuffing on uh once i receive all of the money but let me know how much do you guys think is in here i'm hoping it's a couple hundred dollars i'm hoping at least maybe like 150 um because everything else is already paid for for the trip so like i said this is going to be our spending money so come along with me let's go Okay guys, so I have made it to the bank and we are about to go in and get this coin counted. So, like I said, let me know before I tell you how much it was. Leave it in the comment section down below. I'll be right back. Oh my God, y'all, this thing is heavy. Jesus, it feels like it's like car seat weight. Y'all, and there's a line. Oh my gosh, guys, so I am back. Do you want to know how much? Oh, I cash stuff? Y'all, I'm tired from carrying that jug. Y'all, y'all, I'm just going to say save your coins. Save your coins. We will be doing this again for the roll-up challenge. So I'm on my way back home, and we are going to be cash stuffing our monies. Y'all, when I say save your coins, save them coins, all right? I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so we are back from the bank, and y'all want to know how much money we got? Y'all want to know? All right, let's count it. Let's count it. Let's count it up. Okay. Woo, y'all. Let's see. All right, so we have our tray. Y'all, I haven't done a cash stuffing in such a long time. I am so excited. All right, so we got 50. So that's... All right, so we got 250. So that's $100. Okay. And then we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we got $200. Two four six eighty, so that's two eighty. We have two ninety ninety five one hundred. So that is three hundred and ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Y'all, we got three hundred and sixteen dollars from some change, y'all. Y'all better be participating in this roll-up challenge that I'm doing um, this year, okay? Y'all talking about sis, what you, what's the roll-up challenge? I'll tell y'all in a minute, but I'm telling you, y'all better not believe in one red cent, one quarter, one dime, one nickel on the ground, okay? You better go pick that, go pick that change up. Look what this change I got me, $316. And y'all, that wasn't even a whole year. Come on, come on change. All right. So guys, we are gonna be stuffing this with my, uh, or for my vacation. So we are going to be leaving in just a couple of days. So we are going to get the money stuffed. So guys, I'm pretty sure once you see these envelopes, you're gonna know where we are going. So tell me where we're going. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, you know. Um, so I'm excited guys, the, I did not um, make these super fancy at all. I really wasn't going to make any, um, but I'm like, whatever, 
I was already in the middle of creating, you know, three orders. And I'm like, you know what? What is what is four envelopes going to do at this point, huh? Okay. So, uh, we are going to start with souvenirs. Um, so, oh, they're just clear back to y'all. They, they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing fancy at all. Let me know. Do you like them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should I add them on the website? Mm-hmm. Um, so, we are going to do souvenirs. And we are going to put $120 into souvenirs. I know that there's not going to be anything that I'm going to want, but I know my daughter, she's going to want something. And you know, Disney is just up the wazoo just because, right? Right. So we are just going to go ahead and we are going to stop this, stop this. Oh, boom. Uh, next is going to be food. And for food, I think I'm going to put $100 in here. All right, y'all, let's see. What did I just put in there? 120 Let's see. So we got 120 plus 100. Okay, so that's 220. Y'all, when that lady told me how much money I was walking out there with from a jug of change, y'all, I was leaving the bank just looking for some nickels on the floor, okay? On the ground, anywhere. I'm like, oh, for real? Okay, here we, here we go. All right. Um, travel so this is for um, like our form of travel if we get an uber or a taxi or anything like that um, let's see we got what three six set uh, yeah three sixteen so we got ninety six dollars left so y'all yeah, think I'm gonna put seventy five dollars in here two four sixty seventy y'all yeah, I was just like huh you say what not oh okay two for a 60 70 75 like i would really love to see like how much it would have been if i had filled it all the way up to the top um would it have been another like 50 to 100 dollars oh huh. let's see we're gonna we're gonna challenge ourselves okay and then miscellaneous is gonna get the rest um so we got 5 10 15 we got 5 10 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Going into Miss Elanius. If you hear Skylar, she is still up. She's watching, I think, My Little Pony. All right, so we are all stuffed, y'all. And you guys know, I'm just going to put this right into my, my wristlet. You guys know I travel with, with her. She is my travel companion. Um, so she is going right on in here so we can be set to go, okay? And then in the park, I'm just going to have a fanny pack. I'm not even going to carry the wristlet. This is just for, like, the airport and then if we go out to eat. Um, but I have a fanny pack that I'm going to be taking uh, throughout the park. So I wouldn't have to worry about this on my arm, okay? So, guys, I'm going to clear this on out the way and we are going to talk about this planner. So hold on one second. Okay, y'all, so I am back. Y'all, I am so nervous to show y'all this. I am so excited to show y'all this. I am feeling so many different emotions. I can't believe it's actually in my hands. Y'all, whoo, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, I am so, this is a prototype. So this is the first copy that I have received. Um, so there are, of course, markings that say um, not for resale, but I do have um, the correct ones i just don't want them out because i don't want them to get messed up with it being a little one um in my presence and uh, you know a dog and things like that so i am just going to be showing you guys the prototype so guys this is the saving my coin budget financial planner for 2023 y'all what do you think you like the cover do you love it she is shiny she is giving all the money. She got them hundos. She, you know she got them coins. You know we saving them coins, okay? What do you guys think? Let me know. So this is the front. And of course, you, if you can't tell, my favorite color is pink. So of course, we have to do some, some pink on here. So guys, we are going to get into it. I am hoping I don't cry why I <laughs> why I flip through this because I am so excited. This is, I'm going to tilt you guys down just a little bit so you can see it i'm going to cry probably going through this because i really want it i've been wanting to do this because a lot of the planners that i see um are wonderful and great but i need something that i can keep just one one of and having five or six different books 
um, isn't isn't for me. Um, so we're gonna get right on into this, and I, like I said, this is dedicated to my fellow low income budgeters. Uh, so guys, let's go. So you guys are going to flip open, and of course, it is just a thank you from me to you. And then, of course, we are going right on into some motivation, okay? Dream big, work hard, make it happen, okay? Um, so from there, we have our uh, 2023 calendar. So we have from January to December, so all of the months. So for this page, I would definitely recommend either highlighting your uh, paydays that you will have or and or your... Um, occasion days so if you know that in january you have um a birthday in march you have a wedding in may you have a graduation june july august there's a birthday september there's nothing but you guys go really heavy in the holidays for october november december just to keep yourself accountable for those important days as you are going through your budget Next is a yearly bill tracker. So this is where you're going to list out all of your bills that you have and then just the average amount. So if your water bill fluctuates between $120 to $115, so you're gonna have your water bill budget out, let's just say $130 um, for the year. Or if you just want to just write down your bills here and then just mark them off as you pay them from January to December, you have that option as well. So from the monthly bill tracker, we go right on into our monthly calendar. So for our monthly calendar, like this is undated, there is no specific start date, there is no specific end date, you can start this at any time. So it is a calendar you are able to start, write down your paydays, write down your bills, write down your financial obligations, write down if you guys are going to have, if you're going out for family lunch on Thursday and then, you know, you have date night on Saturday, just so you have all of your important days in one place. And of course, I love a good old note section, y'all. There are so many notes sections in here because we tend to know what, when things happen, but we tend to forget. Um, so with life, it's just the hustle and bustle and it's like, oh, I forgot this or, oh, I forgot this or, oh, I forgot this. So if you are talking to somebody on the phone and you are sitting here like, yeah, uh-huh, we can have lunch two weeks from now and two weeks come up and you'd be like, oh crap, I did tell her I have lunch. Boop, I got lunch with so-and-so on the 17th, okay? So from our monthly calendar, we go into our monthly budgets. So for our monthly budget, which is here, um, we have our income. So we have two sources of income. And then if there is an, a other. Um, so if there are, if it's husband and wife, it, if it is two jobs, if it is two, one job and child support, if it is one job and SSI, whatever your income is, uh, you, have in, you have two sources of income and then you also have a other. So if there's a side hustle or a business or whatever that, um, option is that is what you're going to do here so you have your budgeted as well as your actual and then whatever your total is going to be and then here is where you're going to list out your bills for the entire month and then whatever you're going to have budgeted for that month um there is no actuals because when we do our paycheck budget that is where we're going to put our actual so this is just the budget to see okay based on the income that i'm bringing in and the bills that i said i'm going to pay i'm able to cover absolutely everything financially um, that I'm able to pay and of course there's another note section and then so you're going to total your income versus all of your expenses which are all of your financial obligations uh, so mortgage rent car note car insurance water bill phone bill um, streaming services uh, paying back your mom and daddy for a loan whatever whatever you got going on that's what you're going to put here for your expenses for the month and then you are going to subtract the difference for savings plan, this is where you're going to put your uh, cash, um, I'm sorry, not your cash, um, yes, uh, yeah, you can do your cash envelopes here, as well as your sinking funds. If you're doing a challenge, like a 26-week savings challenge, a 52-week savings challenge, if you are doing, um, what's another one? If you're just doing any challenges, um, or if you are um, 
just have an amount that you want to put towards savings, you are able to do that as well. I am going to tell you guys that this book does have some savings challenges. So just wait one hot, one hot minute, okay? All right, so next um, from your monthly budget, you're gonna break down your paycheck. So um, if you guys do the paycheck by paycheck breakdown, so you're gonna break down each paycheck that you receive and you're going to pay the bills um, that are due between those two pi two pay cycles. Um, so that also refers back to this monthly calendar when you write down all your bills and your paydays. So there are quite a few lines of sources of income. So if, like I said, if you have two jobs and you have a, a roommate, just somebody living with you and they're giving you some money, you got child support, you got SSI, you got disability, you got plenty of lines here for your income. And then we also move over into savings. So whatever your savings type is going to be, if it is savings challenges, if it is uh, 401k, if it is um, your kid's college fund, whatever savings challenge that you want to do here separate from sinking funds, you have that option or you can just do all your sinking funds, whatever your budget amount is going to be, your actual and then whatever date you're going to put it there. Next is going to be your debt. So whatever debt that you're going to pay throughout that pay period. So credit cards, car notes, um, if it's a payday loan, this is where all of your debt's going to go. And then you have your bills here. So whatever your bills are that you are going to pay during that pay period, this is where you would put this is where you would put them. And then of course here you're going to uh, have your total of income versus what you budgeted, what you have for savings, and then for your total amount of expenses. So everything should equal out to zero. So whatever your income is that you brought home versus your expenses, savings, and what you have budgeted for your debt should all equal the same amount of your income to make that a zero base budget. And of course, there's a good old note section. So from here, if you are doing sinking funds um, or cash envelopes, you would go ahead and you would write down all of your categories for your cash breakdown. So you'll be able to go to the bank and you'll be able to get your cash to go ahead and stuff those. And it's two pages um, of cash breakdowns. So once you go ahead and you stuff those cash envelopes of course we have to do a weekly check-in so we are going to check in with our cash envelopes weekly just to see how our spending is going making sure that we have enough money left um, to go into the next month and like i said there are two options um, so if you have quite a few i know some of us have like you know seven or eight different um, categories for our weekly expenses so there are a total of nine boxes for your check-ins some of us have like four so i wanted to give plenty of options for if you have a lot or if you don't have a lot for your weekly check-in each paycheck breakdown is exactly the same so you have your paycheck and then you have your uh, cash breakdown then you have your weekly check-in as well as another paycheck breakdown cash breakdown weekly check-in so if you get paid bi-weekly, which is every two weeks, most people um, do a check-in every single week, so every Friday. So the fr first Friday that I fill these, the second Friday before, and next Friday before my paycheck, or Thursday before my next paycheck. So for some people, they're going to have two of these filled out, only two. Some people are going to have all four filled out because they get paid weekly. Some people, if you get paid monthly, if you only wanna do a monthly check-in, you could do that as well. But there are five weekly check-ins in a month. There are five paycheck breakdowns in each month, as well as there are a total of two times five. So there's 10 cash breakdown sheets. And as we flip through the rest of this month, there are two expense trackers here and then there are also two sinking fund updates so you're able to uh, keep your goals of your sinking funds so if you know that you're saving for Christmas excuse me so you're gonna put Christmas whatever um, date so just say January 7th your sinking funds Christmas the amount you're putting into it is $25 and then the amount that you want to save is $1,000 so just so you are able to keep up with how much you are saving um, how much you are I'm sorry how much you yes how much you are saving versus how much uh, your goal is 
So you have two of those. And of course, like I said, there is inspiration in here. So your next one is never give up. So each month is exactly the same um, when it comes to the breakdown. So it's, you know, pretty, it's, it's repetitious. Um, like I said, there are, there is inspiration all throughout this workbook. So do not feel super obligated. I didn't want to make this overwhelming. I didn't want to make this super, um, difficult because I know that lots of people are, you know, just starting to budget and I want to make this as plain and simple as possible. Of course, there are notes sections in here. So for you to jot down your notes, if something happened, if you just want this to be your journal page and you like, you know what, today I, I, I'm, I'm just over it today. And you are in your budget and the month that you are in, you, you just ain't gonna have nothing left and you just wanna jot it down, jot it down. I, I gave you guys a little, a, you know, a little sheet just to tell us, tell, tell yourself just to get it out, just to get it out, okay? Just to get it out, instead of keeping it all in. So that is, that's the whole budgeting part of this workbook. Like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty repetitious. But I do, y'all, I want to show you guys, if you purchase this, it does come with these two bookmarks, okay? I know y'all probably like, sis, a bookmark, what? <laughs> but because this book is so big, it is over, 300 pages in this workbook. I don't want y'all to have to fold the pages down and make it all crinkled and things like that. So I did come up with the bookmark, okay? So the first one is, and it does fit in, in here, okay? So it says, boss chick, we budget, we slay all day. Okay, yes. So we have, we have that one. And guys, there is another one. If you remember earlier today, I said that there are savings challenges in this workbook as well. So for the savings challenge ones, it is boss money. We're queens that love to save. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Is it corny? Do you guys like them? Let me know in the comment section down below. I like them. I hope you guys like them. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so nervous. Whew. Okay. So all this pink on my desk, y'all, I'm, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Do you guys love the pink or y'all like sis? Nah, why did you choose pink? Let me know. Cause I got pink everywhere. Candle, cup, bookmarks, inspirational quotes. Just let me know. Okay, so now we are gonna flip to what I am like. What, I love this whole workbook, but I really, 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 really like the savings challenge part because i am not one that wants y'all know i'm low income so i am not one that is able to go out and go spend you know fifty dollars on a budget workbook and then go and spend another fifty dollars on a, a savings book and you know not even know if i could even really spend the money or you know save the money whatever so your home girl went ahead and she put some savings challenges in the back of her book Yes, I did. So, y'all, it's a one-stop shop. We got inspiration. We got savings challenge. We got budgets. We got cash breakdowns. We got everything, okay? So, um, this is at the end when you finish uh, your whatever your 12th month is. Like I said, it's undated. So, if it, you do from February to February, guess what? And come March, this is what you see at the end, okay? Um, so, at the end, it says, dream big. Congratulations. You did it. Your future self will thank you. Okay, so we are going to get into these savings challenges. Again, this is based for low income, so you are not going to be putting a lot of money into these. Um, I know that there are lots of people that are able to put $400, $500 a paycheck into savings challenges. If you're low income like me, y'all, I can't do that. I, I just can't. Um, so I put a lot of these savings challenges on the lower end. If you purchase this book and you want to put more or you want to double the amounts that some of them do have amounts, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, but again, these are geared towards those that are low income because I have not seen something that's geared towards low income. I've seen lots for middle income or high income, but this is for my fellow ones that are making it work, making them coins, do what it do, okay? So this first one is called the money pot and it is just putting $5 in each pot so you're gonna end up with $240. Now $5 don't sound like a whole lot. 
But if you say fifty dollars, and I'll be like, ooh, I may not be able to do that. But five five dollars, just starting to get disciplined, okay? Of course, there is a um, debt snowball. So if you do have debt, we I included this back here because that is a part of additional debt savings. So you guys know that throughout the paycheck, you are paying your you're paying debt here, but this is additional to whatever you're paying. So if you're making a minimum payment to your uh, Southwest card here, and you wanna pay that card off, we're gonna also snowball it here. So additional debt payment to what's in the paycheck breakdown. Next, this one's called the Gumball Savings Challenge. So just say, this one is probably one of the higher ones, um, cause I didn't want all of them to be like five or $10. So this one is probably one of the higher ones. So it's just saving, um, each gumball and then this one is the let it grow savings challenge so this one is twenty dollars per pot um this one guys i this one is so cute to me i love this one so this one is the honey pot um challenge so this one is uh savings is sweet so it says save money saving money is sweet let's save each honey pot for each week so you're able to do this weekly or you're able to do this bi-weekly or y'all can do this whenever um so the lowest amount that's on here is a dollar and the highest amount that's on here it looks like is 88 yep 80 oh no i'm sorry 100 100 is the highest amount that's on here um so i am super 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 excited we're going to keep going through these but i do want to let you know if you are interested in getting this workbook and having the savings challenges, there is an option to get matching envelopes. So since we're talking about the honey pot, I'm gonna show you the honey pot one now. So this is the honey pot envelope. So there will be 12 envelopes for each savings challenge. So to get the workbook by itself, it is $35. If you want to get the workbook with the matching envelopes to go along with your 12 savings challenges, you are able to purchase it. It would be $55 for the bundle. So the bundle is going to include the 12 envelopes as well as the uh, workbook that already have the challenges in there. If you just want the challenges by themselves, or I'm sorry, you just want the workbook that includes the challenges by themselves, it's $35, okay? 35 on, 35 and out the door. <laughs> All right, let me stop talking because this video is getting real long. Okay, next is gonna be the roll it up savings challenge. So this is the coin challenge. So I am super excited because y'all know we just stuffed our, um, our cash envelopes for the trip with change. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be, y'all. I'm really hoping I can get to $500 next year. I got really, 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 really good this year. So this is the coin challenge that we are going to do, and this is gonna be every Friday. So it is uh, 52 weeks, and I'm gonna start this in January. Next is going to be the uh, Promises Rainbow. So this one is by five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35. And then this one down here is a little bit lower. So this one goes by two. So whichever one you are able to do at that time when you start, you are more than welcome to do so. If you wanna mix the match, you could do that too, sis. Or bro, whoever watching, okay? Next we have is Let's Celebrate. Um, so each icon is going to be 10. So we have uh, New Year's, Christmas, Easter, uh, happy birthday, baby, wedding. I don't know what the cake is for y'all. You know, any celebration can have a cake. Um, and then we have Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, graduation. Is this another birthday or just stream? No, it's just whatever. And uh, it's another celebration. And then we have um, Halloween. So each one is 10. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 120 dollars. Y'all, we going to save some money, okay? I, I don't I don't want to hurt y'all pockets because I don't want to hurt my pockets, okay? So I, I have made this really low, low budget, low, not low budget. I've made this very low income friendly. Next is the rainy day savings challenge. Um, so this is just to start get, um, getting the habit of saving, um, starting an emergency fund. And it's just each cloud is going to be $10. The puddles are five. And then the rain boots, one is three and one is uh, two. So it's just a total of $60 that you can start for your rainy day. 
Next is going to be self-care. And we all need some self-care. All of us. We work hard. The babies, you know, we love them dearly, but they mm, work the nerve. And we all need some self-care. We all need to take care of ourselves. We take care of everyone else. We have to take care of ourselves. Um, so for the self-care, it says take a moment and enjoy some self-care. And it says double the amount of your favorite self-care activity. So we just have, so we have sleeping. We have music. We have, I guess it's love. Love? Yeah, love. Um, taking a bubble bath. Eating, y'all. Eating is my favorite, y'all. Oh, my God. We have coffee. We have buying candles. Um, we have watching TV. We have running. We have shopping. We have gardening. Um, and then we also have traveling. So whatever is one of these, whichever one is your favorite is the one that you have to double. Y'all, my favorite is eating. So that means I'm already putting $60 in that thing. Ciao. Uh. Now we are going to move on to the no spend challenge and everyone has a different definition of a no spend challenge. So for me, a no spend challenge is um, not spending anything outside of my cash envelopes and not spending anything outside of my sinking funds. So if I go out and I don't have any money left in my eating out category and I decide to go take myself to Chick-fil-A, that is considered not a no spend day. But if I go out and I don't spend anything above and beyond my cash envelopes and my sinking funds that I've already planned for, then I'm good. But again, that's for me, that's my no spend challenge. Everyone has their own definition of a no spend challenge. So you can use your own discernment for a no spend challenge. So remember, if it's just one day that you have a no spin, baby, that's the win. We celebrate in one day at a time, okay? And of course, there's another note section. And then this one back here is the fall in love with saving. So with this, it is if you are saving for a down payment for a house, an apartment, a new car, if you want to buy a vending machine to have a vending machine business, if you want to start your own budget business, if you want to, you know, start a any anything if you are just saving for anything that's a little bit on the bigger side if it's a wedding or you know a kid's graduation something whatever it is that is a little bit bigger than you know that needs 10 20 you know 30 dollars that is what you're going to put here so saving for whatever the amount is whatever you're starting and whatever the goal date is and you are just going to set yourself up in this uh, page here and then whatever your total is going to be so guys these challenges are really simple and easy and like i said i don't want i, I don't want to break the bank because y'all sometimes we ain't got money for the bank and we don't want to overdraft the bank okay we want it to be fun we want it to be easy we want it to you know truly 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 not be stressed out by not being able to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars because y'all i can't do it i there are so many challenges that i see that i love and y'all i just can't do it because i ain't got 50 dollars to put towards something every every week sometimes all i got is a dollar left so like i said this is geared towards my fellow low income friends but if my high income friends or my medium my medium income friends want to jump on this bandwagon Y'all more than welcome to come on, pull up. Du if you want to double some of these amounts, you could do that too. Whatever floats your boat. But remember, to get this entire workbook, uh, it does, like I said, it does include the two bookmarks. Um, when you purchase the, uh, when you purchase it by itself, you get the two bookmarks, um, and it is thirty five dollars. And then if you want to upgrade it. Um, to get the bundle that does have the 12 matching envelopes, it is 55. So guys, let me know, what do you think? How do you feel? Do you have any feedback? Let me know y'all because I, I would love to have it. I'm can't believe I did this. I, oh my God, y'all, I would have cry. I can't believe I did this. I am. I'm nervous, <laughs> y'all, I'm nervous, but there was a, there was a need for it, 
And especially for me, there, there was a need for it to be made for people like me. There's not a lot of things that are out there for people like me, like a single mom or, you know, a, something that's affordable for somebody with with just one income, someone that has a young child and can't throw $75 at, at a budget book. I could I can't do it, y'all. So those that are that are able to do that and able to to you know buy one that's awesome but I know that I can't you know I have $75 could be you know a bill for me so I wanted to make something that anyone could buy I wanted something that was nice I wanted something that was affordable and so here here it is <laughs> so guys please let me know in the comment section down below what what you guys think if you have any feedback is there anything that you would change just let me know guys this is available for pre-order starting on wednesday the 23rd um on my website and i'm going to put it on etsy um so it is going to be available for pre-order they are going to start shipping out on december 2nd um no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're available for pre-order um, on the 23rd. They officially go live on the 2nd, and they will start being shipped out on the 15th of December so you guys can have them and set them up for the new year. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. I appreciate it. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Be blessed. Bye.